Hey guys, what's up everyone and welcome back to a new video. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to sort numbers in JavaScript. There are a couple of ways on how to do that and I get this question a lot in our uh, JavaScript tutorials uh, that people want to know how to sort numbers in JavaScript and I'm trying to show that to you guys in an easy and uh, easy to follow way. So as you guys know, we always have a written tutorial that goes along with our videos. If you want to pull that up, I leave the link in the video description below. So you can go ahead and look at the code if I'm moving too fast, or you can copy and paste some of the code or just have it open next to you. That might help you to um, stay on top of things and uh, help you to follow along with the video. All right, guys, let's dive right in. Okay, guys, to get started, we create an array with numbers here. So we say our numbers array and then we say let numbers and we uh, I just copy and paste it from the article. So this is an array with a bunch of numbers which are not sorted in any shape or form. So we can see it's 22, 50, then 1, 2, 39, 29 and 10. Now, if you just think about how you would actually sort it, you will probably search for JavaScript sort and you will end up on this page here, which is array prototype sort. Now, if you actually use this function so we say numbers dot sort with its default values and then you would console dot log uh, the numbers array and expect that it will be sorted you will be surprised because if you run it and the output the output shows then we see it's 1 10 then it's 2 then 22 29 39 50 and so on so it's not really sorted but why uh, if you go back to the uh, MDN documentation here, then we actually see that um, if they use string values, that it's actually gonna sort that by uh, the string value, so alphabetically. Um, and this is because the sort function is, in per default at least, uh, is made for strings. So if you look at this here, they have an array example two. They have an array with the number one, thirty, four, twenty-one and then 100,000 and they call the sort function on this array and then console log it, you will see that there comes one, then comes 100,000, then comes 21, then comes 30 and four. So it's not really sorted either. And that is because um, the function basically treats the numbers that we enter there as strings. So if you look at that, then 25 is basically bigger than 100 because two is bigger than one, if that makes sense to you. Um, so the, there is a way to circumvent this and I'm going to show you exactly how. So the way to do it is we're still going to use the sort function but in a slightly modified fashion. So we keep our numbers array here and then we create our own sort function, say like this. Then we do function, we call that sort numbers and then we want to input an array, open our curly braces here and then we say um, numbers or array in that case, that's the array we're going to input in the function. And then we call the sort function. But instead of just calling it empty, we are going to give it some values. We give it the value A and then comma and the value B. And then we do an arrow function here and we say A minus B or return A minus B. And um, I'm going to explain to you how that works in a second. But if we now call the function then we do sort numbers numbers and then we lock the result console lock numbers okay and then we hit run and let's see if that worked if that is actually sorting the numbers and now we can see that it's 1, 2, 10, 22, 29, 39, and 50. So now that we know how to sort numbers in JavaScript using our sort numbers function, let's actually break it down and um, explain to you guys how that works under the hood so you better understand what you're doing. So how the function works. And for that, we just create another function and we just call that uh, function compare numbers or whatever. And, and we say, two values a and b and we open our curlies here and we say console.log a minus b and this is just a simple demonstration but in essence it's the same thing as here <clears throat> and then we would go ahead and we would say compare numbers um, whatever one and five we enter the numbers here and we save takes a little bit okay and then we run the code 
then you can see that minus 4 is the result of this, which uh, basically means that um, a is less than b. So in essence, that's exactly the same what our created sort numbers function here does with every single value of this array. So it's comparing the values and checks which one is larger. And uh, to explain that is a little bit confusing. So I'm actually going to read to you um, what I've written down in that regard because it's a little bit confusing. So how that works is by simply subtracting b from a will always return greater than zero if a is larger than b. Uh, it will zero it will return zero if both values are equal or less than zero if a is less than b now this is a little bit confusing i understand but this is how the um, sort function or this compare function actually works under the hood and then according to that if value a is greater than b or vice versa according to that it's sorting the number one slot to the left or one slot uh, to the right and then we end up with a result that is correctly sorted. I hope that was okay to understand. If not, I, as I said, there is a link inside of the article that leads to a Stack Overflow post where this function is um, explained in great detail if you want to dive into that. But this is basically how it works and um, that's an easy way, I think, to sort numbers in JavaScript. Now, if you want to dive deeper, if you want to learn more JavaScript, head over to cusec.com, click on learn in the nav bar and then click on JavaScript. And if you are there, you can see that we have a bunch of beginner friendly articles here. Every one of those articles has also a video attached to it uh, as it is fashion here on our channel. So we always like to provide a video and an article together to make the experience more interactive. And you can also just uh, open up this REPL and play around with it. The link is also in the article uh, for you to learn. And we are in the process of creating a complete JavaScript beginner section where you can go through step by step and uh, have a complete setup for web development, etc. The same is true for Python. If you're interested in learning Python, I recommend you clicking on the Python link here. And uh, we already started to create a beginner section for Python. So if you click here on start here, and then you can see a step-by-step -step guide on how to get started with Python and set up your development environment, etc. So um, if you like this video, guys, make sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel as well as the Humix channel. I would love to see you over there as well. Humix is a great video platform. If you don't know that, check it out at cosec.com forward slash Humix. And all of my videos can be found there and on YouTube. And I hope to see you back in the next one. I hope this was easy to understand. Leave some comments below, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. And I hope to see you back in the next one. Thanks for watching. Until then.